Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm a little late getting on the uh, live stream today, but I had a couple things I wanted to show you anyway. Just need a little bit more time to prepare for it. Uh, so today I'm going to show you just my three top uh, new additions to Melodyne 5. So I'm in the middle of creating a Melodyne chorus, which is coming out soon. Um, and I'm exploring Melodyne 5. I hope that you can hear me. This is what happens. This is what happens. Can you hear me, guys? Gosh. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right. Looks like I'm back on. That's what happens when you wave your hands too much and you unplug your microphone, a USB microphone. So there's, a, there's an argument right there for uh, XLR microphones, right, or XLR connectors. Okay. So let me start again. I'm going to start here when I rebroadcast this. So... Okay, so I wanted to, to come on today and just show you, sorry about the bad lighting here. Uh, I wanted to show you today my three top uh, favorite features on the new Melodyne 5, okay? The first one is searchable shortcuts. Let me share my screen with you and pull up Melodyne here on a vocal that I was working on the other day. So I have key bindings where I leave my hand in one place and get all my tools. I, I try not to... I go to this menu here. I try not to right click too much. I have all of these tools uh, in key bindings. And it was always a little bit of trouble because you never knew when you were like stepping on another key binding or, um, or, or what your shortcuts were. So they've added a searchable uh, shortcuts menu and I'm going to show that to you. So you see the pitch tool right there, right? Okay. So I've got the pitch tool uh, actually that can switch tools with a touch of a button. The thing is you need to go to settings, preferences, and then go to shortcuts. And then if you look here, the, uh, let's just say the amplitude tool right there, you can see that it's set up for F4. Also, you can, and you can set it up for another key, All you have another um, keystroke. All you have to do, like to say, if I wanted to do, um, uh, let's see D for amplify. I just hit D and then hit close and it's there. It's done. On the other hand, what you can do is let me open this back up again. You can also search for what pro what plugins you already or what uh, shortcuts you already have. And let's just say I wanted to see what S was and S was switch pitch tools, right? So I can hit the S key and I can go between all of these tools. So you can actually search for um, key bindings or shortcuts that you already have versus uh, things that you may um, things that you want to bind to a key. And I can't stress this is enough. This is a this is a way to not go crazy in Melodyne. The least amount of time you can spend in Melodyne tuning vocals, usually the better the vocals are, because uh, you will either get tired of tuning vocals, uh, you'll let stuff fly, or worse, what you'll do is you'll start to overtune vocals. So the faster you can get in uh, Melodyne and and uh, and get in and out, tune vocals, make them sound better, uh, the better off you are. Because uh, the biggest indicator for me of if if someone's been in Melodyne is that it almost sounds too robotic. So number one, searchable shortcuts, great things. Go to settings, um, shortcuts, and then you can look for your shortcut. Create them, right? I'm going to come up with a key binding that I use. I'm experimenting with a couple of them right now that seem to work. 
that I'm picking up from not only digital uh, video editors, but also Pro Tools, uh, what common shortcuts are in other DAWs and also in Melodyne. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Okay, so searchable shortcuts, number one. Number two is sibilance control. This is uh, this is pretty amazing. Now, if you look back over here to my screen, if you, they put a gear up here in the top right hand side and you can actually show sibilance or not. Now, this is the way Melodyne has always looked. Uh, you had to just say, OK, there's no note between these two. It must be some kind of sibilance. Well, now you can actually see the sibilance. Uh, and you just turn it on by what you see. It's just kind of a cross-hatched looking um, region with no line going through it, okay? Um, and you can actually turn the sibilance up and down in a region, I think, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, here it is here, I think. You can actually turn the sibilance balance tool up and down. So let's just say you're you haven't been able to find the great DS or everything sound, makes it sounds lispy. Um, well, try Melodyne as a DS or because it will work. Um, just go up here to the uh, up here at the toolbar. Now I will probably find a um, a shortcut for this too, but right now I don't have it. But all you have to do is just grab the grab grab it and pull it down, and it will pull the S's up and down. Uh, on the other hand, you can you can actually push it up. Um, so sibilance. I haven't used this tool too much in Melodyne Five. Of course, I've, I've had it just a couple of days right now. But this sibilance tool is going to be really cool. Um, another thing that comes along with this sibilance tool is um, is the the ability of Melodyne to now um, to be able to better detect which notes are on what. Now, in the past, Melodyne was really um, bad about um, taking the average of, of, a, uh, of a pitch. Let's just look at this one here. Melodyne would take this and this note, and since it was the same region, it would say, okay, the note, the average, uh, the average of this note is somewhere right in here, and that's where it would tune it, which would not only now take it from being one bad note, but actually being uh, it, n nothing worked right. It was not in the not in the right region at all. They've come up with a better algorithm now, and they're able to detect um, the important part of the pitch, which is right after the scoop, right before the fall. Uh, they will detect that, and they will tune it to that note. So, way to go, Melodyne. This is what I spent the most time on um, cutting up, so that Melodyne wouldn't be tricked into. Uh, clicking or tuning to the wrong uh, pitch, okay? Uh, so sibilance control, and along with that is better pitch detection. So it's able to tell you what's an S and able to actually control that uh, better. So uh, awesome, awesome, awesome upgrade there. Okay, and the last thing is probably one of my favorites, and that is the leveling macro. Now, Melodyne has always allowed you to go to uh, this tool here and just go to the amplitude tool and be able to take any any pitch and move it up or down like uh, you can probably hear that in my microphone but you can actually turn up and see how much you're affecting the, the um, volume or the gain of this blob by looking here um, now they've kind of upped the game a little bit more and now you can actually go here to this macro and you can say, hey, I want to make all the loud notes quieter, and I want to make the quiet notes louder. Now, this is not a compression at all. You're not going to get the artifacts that you would get, or not artifacts. You would not get the character that you would get from a compressor if you use this. Um, really, all it's doing is putting gain stage um, or uh, clip gain, if you're using Pro Tools, or clip gain on just about anything, to actually changing the volume of your waveform before it hits anything. You're actually able to change that now and pretty consistently. This uh, this is something I used the other night, not just on vocals, on a bass guitar that was playing inconsistent notes, tracked it into Melodyne, uh, made the quiet notes louder and the louder notes quieter, and that was a consistent bass track. And then you can put your compressor on it to give it character. Or 
Uh, well, not sure if you can do that or not. I'm sure, not sure you can go the opposite way and who would want to really. But anyway, this um, leveling macro is the bomb. Uh, it's really cool. I've used it probably more than anything. There are so many other features in Melodon 5 that I'm exploring, getting to know. I'm going to put it all together into a course and I'm going to let you know about it. So if there's anything... Um, if there's anything that you want to know about Melodyne or maybe are getting tripped up on, uh, leave them in the comments and let me include that in this training, okay? Um, well, that's it for right now. Uh, sorry about the little malfunction at the very beginning. Uh, my mic came unplugged and I plugged it up and uh, and hopefully you've heard what I've said here. But anyway, Melodyne 5 is really, really cool. I hope you like it. And uh, I hope this has been helpful. But uh, until I see you again, which will be Friday, um, take care of yourselves and uh, have fun tuning some vocals. Okay. Talk to you soon.